Wall Street top investors watching your morning. Joining me now, Price Futures Group Senior Market Analyst, Fox Business Contributor Phil Flynn, Michael Lee Strategy Founder Michael Lee, and Baird Investment Strategy Analyst Ross Mayfield. Phil, let me just short the housing bubble in 2008, saying he thinks cryptocurrencies will eventually become worthless. Michael, he's calling it a bubble. What say you? Well, look, you, you know, with crypto, you're in a binary situation where either uh, Paulson is right or he's wrong. And if he's wrong, the value of crypto is based on central bank uh, continued money printing. And the theory behind all of this money printing is the bicycle theory, meaning if you keep just keep pedaling those wheels or keep printing that money, the wheels don't really come off. So um, yeah, I, I would say Hank Paulson is a gold bug. And how is gold done for the last decade? He had to return capital capital to outside investors because he supposedly wanted to run a family office. I, I say that that's more uh, performance related. He's basically destroyed investor capital for the last decade in one of the greatest bull markets in history. Uh, but then again, you know, he may be calling the next black swan. I tend to be in the latter camp that crypto is real. It's here to stay. There's a lot of his competitors or former competitors like Brevin Howard and Point72, much more successful hedge funds that are, um, you know, th- that are that are knee deep in, into crypto. So I, I tend to think the best day or crypto are ahead of us because I don't see the money printing stopping anytime soon. Yeah, Paulson is remembered for this bet on, you know, this multi, what, billion dollar winning bet against the housing market, uh, Mike. But what it, what, it, what actual investments did he lose so much money on in the last few years? Well, he was, it, like, know, he was he, on the wrong side he, of he, gains, essentially. <laughs> Well, you know, he, he launched a massive gold fund when gold was at $2,000 an ounce a decade ago. Where is gold now? $1,800? Um, you know, compare that to a lot of these other multi-strategy hedge funds. How they've been producing high single-digit, low double-digit returns for a decade uh, where, where, where he's down. He's... Um, a lot of his, he's, he's like Noriel Robini. Uh, you call the financial crisis right, and then you're bearish on everything for forever. Uh, meanwhile, the economy recovers, and we've gone on one of the best bull runs in history. So, um, it, you know, he's still kind of clinging on to that doomsday prediction that mm-hmm. got, that made him so much money in 2008. But he, here we are now. Uh, the s and is up, you know, uh, sixfold, five, you know, tenfold from uh, the lows of uh, 2008. Uh, so, I, I mean, look, you know, he, he, he returned outside investor capital a year ago, and those that invested in his funds post-financial crisis uh, just did horrific compared to the S&P 500. That doesn't mean he's not eventually going to be right with crypto. I just tend to think he's wrong because, like I said, we are in a binary uh, b- binary uh, position here. Either crypto is real or it's not, and if it's real, I think it's going much higher. Michael Lee, thank you, sir. Phil Flynn and Ross Mayfield, thank you all so much this morning. Word on Wall